Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But what are the unique Dutch foods you can eat here? Today, we're visiting a couple of my favorite places in the city and introducing you to the top Dutch foods to try when in Amsterdam. For more videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever I post a new video. Behind me, you can see one of the most famous markets here in Amsterdam. It is the Albert Kuyp Mark. You can find a lot of things here from groceries to cheap souvenirs to clothes clothes, anything and everything is available here at the Albert Kuyp Market. There are two food items that I would definitely recommend you to try here. The first one you have probably already heard of, the stroopwafels. But what's so special about this stroopwafel? Well, you can get them freshly made here, which is absolutely the best version that you can get. And the second one is Dutch poffertjes, which are mini pancakes. So let's go inside and get some delicious fresh stroopwafels and poffertjes. Yeah, top. Thank you well. Super. Poffertjes are small Dutch pancakes, mini pancakes if you would like to call them that. Traditionally, they are always served with butter and icing sugar. And he put a lot of icing sugar, so I think it's going to be very sweet. Because they're so hot, the butter is all melting. And then when it mixes with icing sugar, oh my goodness, this is a real treat. You need to try this, absolutely. Mm. Fun fact, I also made a Dutch supermarket tour video. It is linked down in the description below. You can also buy these ready-made at Albert Heijn and put them in the microwave. They taste really good, but the fresh ones are always better. Cheers. Not eggy. Very important with any kind of pancake. Mm. So good. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All of the butter is melting and mixing with the icing sugar. Really, this makes me so happy. <laughs> mm. I know the regular stroke waffles are good, but the real deal is the fresh one. So, as you can see, the biscuit is very very thin then you have a layer of caramel it's a little bit softer than the regular ones that you would buy in a packaging and it's warm which is the best part and then another layer is put on top it's huge it costs one euro fifty and you just have to try this for yourself real deal is the fresh one cheers <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. so the outside is perfectly crunchy the inside it's soft and chewy. It is just absolutely the perfect biscuit. Oh my goodness. Mm, absolutely cannot miss this if you're visiting Amsterdam. Currently we are in the Jordan area, one of the most beautiful areas, if not the most beautiful in Amsterdam. It is also very gezellig here, like we Dutchies like to say, which means kind of something like a good atmosphere, as you can also hear in the background. It's a Saturday today, it's quite busy, and the thing that you really, really, really need to eat here is the apple pie at the cafe behind me. Even Bill Clinton came here, he had a Dutch apple pie, which is quite famous in the world. He liked it so much that he decided to take a whole apple pie back with him to the hotel. So, if you want to have the best Dutch apple pie, let's go and get some. We just sat down with my friend Alisa, who is actually filming in my Instagram hubby. <laughs> we both ordered the apple pie with the whipped cream. If I can give you a recommendation, it would be 
take it with the whipped cream, trust me. <laughs> the apple pie is so famous because it has so many apples and the flavor is incredibly on point. It's not too sweet, there's a little bit of lemon in there, there's enough cinnamon and the pastry is not too thick. That's kind of the trick about Dutch apple pie. I know I'm probably gonna get some comments from Dutch people who say it's all about the pastry, but it's not called apple pie for nothing. I feel the apples should be more than just the pastry. Also, I just heard from a local here that apparently there's an apple pie battle going on with a cafe in the neighborhood, and they say that that one has the best apple pie, but I've always heard that this is the best apple pie, so that's where I would send you. I am literally drooling, so let's just take a bite, get some of that apple in there the whipped cream, it looks absolutely delicious. Cheers, my friends. Mm. There's also a hint of vanilla, which just makes this absolutely perfect. The whipped cream is very light. It's not that heavy whipped cream, so it just adds another layer of creaminess to the apple pie. Mm. This is such a treat. You have to absolutely try this if you are in Amsterdam. One thing I wanted to tell you about this cafe, that it is still visited by a lot of Jordan locals. I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full, but I'm so excited to talk to you about this. Jordan area is a very old traditional area in Amsterdam. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods here. And I love to visit whenever I am in Amsterdam. The locals have also lived here for a very long time. So if they are actually visiting this place and hanging out here, you know it is a really, really cool place to be for the local experience. This is the biggest bite ever. Wait. <laughs> Oh, but it's so good. Yeah, it's your first time here, right? It's my first time here. As a local, I wasn't aware of this place and the apple pie. Yes. Have some apple pie, girl. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> The HEMA is such an institution in the Netherlands that I even dedicated a whole video to it. I've linked it down in the description below, but there are two things that you definitely have to try here which are iconic. One is the HEMA Roopworst, which is something that is more common to eat during the winter. It's not that much available during the summer. So if you come here during the winter, you absolutely have to try it. Now they actually even have a vegetarian hot dog, something I have been looking for for a long time. I used to eat these hot dogs a lot because I used to work across the street from this store. So every time during my lunch break, I would come to the HEMA and eat the hot dog until I became vegetarian. Now, we were just asking the staff, oh, why don't you have vegetarian versions? And they were like, we do. We have a vegan hot dog. To be honest, the best part about this hot dog is the sauce. It's absolutely iconic. Everybody knows the HEMA hot dog sauce. And I'm just so happy that now they even made the vegan sausage because it's hot dog time. <laughs> oh. It's a decent sausage, but to be honest, it's all about the sauce. If you're non-veg, you will have a better time with the regular sausage because I feel that one, in my memory at least, tasted better than this one. But the sauce, you need to try this just for the sauce, trust me. Mm. Behind me you can see a true icon of Dutch fast food. The Fabel is short for Ferdinand Bolstraat. Ferdinand Bolstraat. I'm so Dutch. Ferdinand Bol Street. <laughs> where the first shop was opened of the Fabo. In the meantime, they have shops all over the Netherlands, but no matter where you go, you know you can find high quality Dutch street food or Dutch fast food at the Fabo. My favorite thing to eat here is Dutch fries war, which is fries with mayonnaise and satay sauce, which is a peanut sauce and onions on top of that. I really, really miss that when I'm abroad because I don't live in the Netherlands anymore. It is also a true Dutch experience because in most countries they don't eat mayonnaise with their fries, but also all the different variations that we have here. So let's go inside and I'll show you what Dutch 
Surprise Warriors. I have also made a separate video about the Fable. You can find that link down in the description below if you want to know more about the Fable. Finally, I have missed this so much. I haven't been to the Netherlands for one and a half years and this is something that I I think I crave at least once a month, once every two weeks because I don't eat that much fast food. But this is so yummy and so typically Dutch. Mm, so good. Best fries at the Fable. But do try this combination as well because it's so incredibly Dutch. Mm, mm. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you to get an idea of what you should really really eat when you visit the Netherlands. If you like the video make sure to put a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Yes. <laughs>